Hey, so you know there are so many tiny and short URL services, which one should you choose? Well, I'm going to tell you why I think Bitly is the right tool for a lot of folks out there for shortening and managing your URLs. Now, um, a lot of people just, you know, take website addresses and copy and paste what's up there. The thing with Twitter is that doesn't really work because they're pretty, pretty long, right? Uh, so then, you know, tiny URL has been a long-standing, well-known way to take a URL and make it shorter. I understand. I used it for a long time, too. Then I, I found Bitly, and the most powerful thing about Bitly is that if you create URLs through Bitly, you can actually track traffic. Now, just a couple of minutes ago in my previous uh, screencast tutorial about how to do tiny URLs, I created this one which goes to the New York Times article talking about Google Android. Already, there are have 20 folks have clicked on it. So if we go and click info, and this is at bit.ly, bit.ly, and see it says welcome Adrian Richards because I have an account here. Let's hit info. We can actually see, you know, when someone clicked on it. Uh, so you may be wondering when I'm sharing links on Twitter, is it working? When I'm sharing links on Facebook or in emails, is it working? Hey, this can be a great way to see if it's working. So there we go. Two people clicked, and and then ten people. Uh, on and on and on, and you can track this. You can go back quite far. Um, let's see, the refers, locations. I mean, you really can get some detailed information on it. So that's why I think the the huge thing about Bitly is also you can put it right into Firefox. Uh, it also has something called a bookmarklet. So if you're at a website, it'll actually generate um, a shortcut for you. Another feature is that if you connect it to your um, Twitter account, you can actually um, post URLs right from Bitly, and I've actually found that to be quite useful and helpful. So um, let me show you how that could work. Alright, so let's get another article, and let's scroll down here, see what they have. Hmm, what's this? From the Washington Post, the knots quite green Toyota Prius. Hmm. All right, so let's go check that out at the Washington Post, see what they're talking about. All right, so we're at the Washington Post, and if you watched my last video, you would know that you could right-click, you know, and then say that you want to create a bit.ly URL, but instead this time we're going to use the bookmarklet. So instead of you right-clicking and creating this bit.ly page here, we're going to use a bookmarklet. And you can read about how to do that on the bit.ly website, or I'm going to make another video about how to do it. So um, here on my shortcut bookmarks menu, and yes, I have a lot of bookmarks. I have one that says shorten with Bitly. So I'll click on that. And it's going to work its magic. And this is what makes Bitly so powerful. Um, it has created, opened a new window um, or tab, brought us to the Bitly website. It has a little link, so if we want to just take that and put it somewhere, but since I've connected my Twitter account, not only does it have the link, it has, you know, the description from the website. And so now I can just hit post. As you can see, I mean, from five or six steps down to like one and a half. So I hit post, and then it's going to go ahead and show up in my Twitter account. And so over at Twitter, without me even having to type in anything, there it is, Ada Richards, the not quite green Toyota Prius. Boom! It's almost effortless. So as an organic technology consultant, that's what I do. I spend time helping my clients um, do what they enjoy and spend less time and be more effective at doing things that, yeah, you just don't need to really spend that much time doing it. So, um, yeah, let me know if there's videos you want me to make. Just go ahead and drop a note. And until next time, enjoy.